that darn Enderman got me. I was messing around with him. I shouldn't have been. I tried to push him into a hole. And when I when he fell in the hole, I must have looked at him. He got mad. Two hits and I was dead. That was it. Level one again. What can you do? Ah, I need to get some cows going here so I can make leather armor. Because I'm still very vulnerable at, right now. And I don't really want to use my iron on armor. I'd rather save it for other things. But yeah, I've been working very diligently on our wheat farm here. It's turning out pretty good. I got stone bricks along the bottom two blocks. I don't know what I'm going to do about the walls. I don't want it all stone bricks. But it should be something. It's got to be something, right? Otherwise it won't exist. Hmm. So we got to figure that out. I've added lava lighting on the sides here. I guess that's the front and... Yeah, that's the front. That's the back. So lava lighting on the front and back. we got the lava behind the pistons. And I also did the pumpkin thing. Placed them under the water. So pumpkins are light level 15. At the water, it's 13 because water reduces light by 2 instead of just 1. So 15, 13, 12 at the fence, 11, 10, 9. And you need light level 9 or higher to grow wheat. So it worked out perfect because the lava behind the pistons lights up everything within these three blocks. Mm -hmm. So everything's lit and everything is hydrated now. I have water hidden down here and on this side as well to take care of the few blocks that we didn't get last time. I hooked up our redstone. How do I get back there? We have a little hole here. Wait, which side has the weed on? Okay. Yeah, I'll show you with this side. So water is above the piston arms here. Open it. You get a little bit of lag from it, but it's temporary. And it'll flood everything. All the wheat will go down to the stream below, but the mobs won't be able to because of the fence. And it will go to over there. So yeah, it's coming along pretty good. It's almost done. The wheat farm part. we got to work on the cow stuff now. Our cow crops. So the first thing we need to do with the cows is we got to make a cow shoot. So it's some way of us to get the cows from the surface down to our farm here. Nice and easy. So I'm thinking we'll have the cows come out here on both sides. Like that. Uh, have this. that uh, there'll be a wall here okay and then we need a hole up to the surface so we may as well put it here I guess oh I hit something oh just that okay not a big deal that kill the farmland yep Okay, so I will use gravel to pillar up and dig my way up to the surface. It's always good to have a torch under you in case sand falls or something. Oops. Oh, another hole. Okay. So I will see you in a little bit. Yep, died again. Got stuck in the water against a bunch of skeletons. Couldn't move. Had no bow on me. What can you do? Ah. There we go. So we came up 
in one of the worst possible spots in the middle of some water. Oh, give me a moment to collect myself here. Aha! Okay, so I built like a tree type, not really a tree, fake tree hut thing here. I decided to use the water to our advantage. Oh, got creeper too. FYI. What I'm going to do is put one of these fence things in the middle of all this. Right over here. Open it. So the animals will get pulled to the center here and there will be a hole below. So we just need to lure them to this one of these water streams. That's all we have to do. And they'll fall down to our farm. Hmm. I'm a little bit worried. None of the wheat I have planted in the center seems to be growing. I don't know why. I'm hoping it's a coincidence. I know wheat does grow at different rates depending on how it's placed. And I don't mind if it's slow. I just hope it does grow still. I'm trying to avoid putting lights above the wheat farm. And you'll see why in a little while. But I might have to if it's not growing. Or I could just put, uh, like I said before, just replace one of the tilled soil with glass and lava below or something. Or a pumpkin. Okay, so we're back here. Get rid of this. Let it rain. It's a long ways up. Oh, I never put... Okay, I gotta put like tubing around there too in those open spots above. Uh, but then what we're going to do here is we're going to make a water break for the cows or whatever animals we push down. Can't We can't push chickens down or they'll get stuck in the water break. Okay, and then they will either go left or right here into their pen and then they'll be stuck down here. And we'll have to pretty it up later. Actually, most of this weed is grown already, so I'm thinking it's time for our first harvest. Here we go. Let's see how it goes. Ah, very nice, very nice. That's what I like to see. Let's see if anything got stuck anywhere. And of course, I gotta hook the two sides together with redstone wiring, but for now, it's just individually operated. Yeah, nothing looks like it got stuck on the sides anywhere. That's perfect. All went down. Uh, nothing in the fences down below there. That's good. Yeah, so that turned out pretty good. Nice. 74 seeds. So I, I planted about 50 there. So now we have 20 more or so. Very cool. You ready? Let's do it. So I go over here, you go into the stream. No. No, you go into the stream. Now you're following me. Now you're drowning. Don't drown. Okay. Okay, you're not a very cow. Cow, you're not doing this right. You're not supposed to die. Okay, come on. Yeah. Okay, we'll do it this way. Come through. No. Cow, look, I have food. Okay. Daisy, is that your name? Daisy, come here. What, you're afraid of water now? Food, see? Good food. Follow. Good. It wasn't supposed to be this difficult. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Are you dying again? I got to fix the water around here. 
No, you're not. <sighs> Crazy cow. Just go in. Go in, go in, go in. <gasps> yes, finally. Yeah, I need to modify this a bit. That that was too painful. Yeah, she's fine down there. Let's head downstairs. Ooh. Very cool. So now we just need at least one more. Aww. We got cows and pigs. Little baby pigs. And little baby cows. I never knew that uh, they followed the babies around. They're pretty annoying. Okay, I just checked the forms and someone, Darquan, Darquan sent me a message about the wheat here. Apparently, I've been doing it wrong. You need light level 9 above the wheat, not on the wheat. So, it's like all this wheat is one light level lower than I planned. So what I'm just going to do is gonna I'm going to put a pumpkin in the middle. And that should take care of it. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think this is the middle. Right over here. And I can't place a pumpkin down. No, don't you do that to me. I am your master. You are my supper. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. So we got a pumpkin there. We'll do one on this side. And that should take care of the whole deal. Uh, one, two, three. And yeah, that should take care of it. So, we got a family here. When I went for the cow, two pigs followed me all the way home too, so that's why we have pigs for now. But I do plan on making this mostly a dairy farm. So when it gets established, these guys might disappear mysteriously. We'll see. Oh, sweet justice. They do burn, right? He's not dying. Yes! Haha! <laughs> That's what you get. So there's uh, something I want to show you guys. I found a new cave area. and This is where I've been getting my lava from now on. For the time being. Uh, it's a quick way down to the lava level. Not quite down there. Let's see. Where is it? I think it's down here. Yeah. Over here. Go to the right. And I've been playing around with lava lights. Let me know what you think of them. Pretty simple. But they light up the area very nicely. I have not explored a whole lot. And then the lava is just down here. And I found the most amazing thing. The most amazing thing. There's redstone. And not only that, there's more redstone over there. And even there's some iron over there. So it's awesome. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to harvest one of these right now. Just to show you how excited I am. Awesome. Yeah, so our, our crops are developing nicely down there, growing quite a bit. Now, on to the next part of the farm. There is a reason I built this in a pit. And this is the part where you find out what a monster I am. Go up the ladder here. Just We're just testing it first. Get our fishing rod. Who wants to volunteer?
Oh boy. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad air on that guy. That might work. I'm trying to figure out what height I need. So the idea behind this farm is you could either go down there and harvest animals or you can fish them from above. Mostly for fun. Just something different. One idea I had was doing something like this. Have a half slab floating in the up above with a way of getting to it. So that's what I have set up here. I don't think it's going to work though. Like we can move around here without falling. We can get back out by jumping. It's good. The only problem is I think a lot of the times animals will hit their heads on this glass. I don't know. I've mostly been aiming for the pigs. Good air. Pretty good air. I don't know. I might have to change this though. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and make this work. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. I can always change it after if I'm not happy. So how how do I do this? I can't really build here, can I? The tough spot to be in right now. What I'm gonna do Let's see, what level am I at? Uh, the idea is not just to fish the mobs up here and let them die from fall damage. That's not what I want. That was just a test. I want to collect them. Okay, uh, so water will be at this height here, which the pig flew up to. I believe I want to make about a 9 by 9 cube around this point at this height, at this level. Yeah. Oops. Uh, 9 by 9, 7 by 7 might work. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this and this. I want one of these there. That's five by five. We gotta go out two more. Hmm. That yeah, really sticks out quite a bit. That's fine. And I'll probably add glowstone or something up here eventually to make it look cooler. All right. I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, I don't know don't know exactly what I'm doing here, but we'll try make it work. I was going to use glass on the outside, but I'm going to use leaves instead. I think it'll look cool. And I had to go up one more block, so I just put a layer of gravel down. Like that. I like how leaves don't disappear anymore if you place them yourself. That is a very cool feature. Okay. There we go. Now I'm gonna flood this with water. Just stay with me, I'm going somewhere here, I'm sure. Flood this with water. Ooh, I can feel a little bit of lag from that. Uh, yeah, this is strange. Actually, I should have did... Ah, whatever. We'll do this for now. I need another layer of water. Now that I think of it. And I'll remove this gravel. I 
I've got a stack of these uh, fence gates, and I'm going to put it underneath all the water now. Oops. Like that. This should work. I'm hoping. I don't want to redo all this. Fence gates are placed, they're open. I added an extra ring of leaves to make it look better. I don't know. Uh, now I need to get rid of the soil and the gravel. I'm hoping if I break the soil, the gravel will break below. Cool. So I'll do that now. And it should be ready for testing again. There it is. That's what it looks like. It is uh, as funny as like dropping gravel bombs on the cows below and they were freaking out. But yeah, that's what it looks like. I messed up a little bit with the fence gates. I might have to change it if we keep this. Some of them are facing different ways and they don't quite look right. It reminds me of a UFO kind of. It's perfect, you know, a UFO above the cows here and it sucks them up. It's just perfect. I don't know what we should call this farm. It has to has to do something with UFOs, I think. The name. Anyway, I don't really have a setup here. But we'll just go into it like this for now. Uh, fix this. And here we go. We're going to try it out. Hopefully they don't hit their head on anything. Good chance they will, though. Go for another pig. Ooh. That's another problem. Ah, darn it. We're having problems here, though, unfortunately. Ah, oh, how should I do this? Well, let's try to get at least one. No, I don't think it had enough height. It's not enough height. Darn it. It's one block too low, too high. Ah. Oh. That's too bad. Oops. Double hooking midair. I'm getting no height now. Are cows heavier or something, or what's going on? The pigs had no trouble. Dang. Let's try pig. Yeah, but pigs seem to get more air. Hmm. Okay, well, it's not quite right. Not quite right. We'll have to fix it or figure something else out. Too bad that would have been perfect. Ah. Uh, I think I'll leave it here for today. We'll end it here. I'll think about this some more and we'll try to finish up the UFO part of the farm. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching as always. I'll see you again next time.